Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this really simple leather apron dress and it, done, it only takes about an hour. And what you need is a hole punch, something to cut your leather, and of course a large amount of leather, um, some measuring tape, and a marker. And what I did was I took a dress, and you can also use a shirt that fits well, to be your guide for the size of your apron. And what I did was I folded my leather with the folded part at the top near the neck because I'm going to start up there and it's all going to be one big piece. And get your dress or shirt laid out and have your leather nice and uh, even and make sure there's no big lumps of leather because here at the edge where it's folded, we're going to look at the neckline of our dress or shirt, and we will be making our marks there. Once you have it nice and smooth and you have it placed where it needs to be, mark the edge of the neckline where you're going to be cutting and you're also going to mark the edge of what will be these straps. So you're going to put a mark on the edge right before the sleeves start on whatever shirt or dress you're using. And then I'm going to mark the sides where my waist will be and I'm marking about an inch away from the edge of the fabric of what I'm using as a guide. And then what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm just going to have it marked all the way down. It's going to be pretty much a straight line down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my measuring tape and I'm going to lay it out so that I make sure I get a nice straight line. starting here at what would be the shoulder and it's just going to go all the way down to the bottom. I'm kind of doing um, a kind of dotted line here. And make sure to keep it straight as possible. And I'm marking this with the leather turned inside out so that if I have to redo any marks, you won't see it. And then you're going to repeat this on the other side. And now that we have put our marks there, we're going to put a little cut on each of those little lines that we drew that represent where the neckline is. And we're going to also do the same on the lines that show where the edge of the shoulder straps are. And we're going to smooth out our leather again, make sure that it's all even underneath. And we're going to start to cut from the the beginning is going to be the little slit that we cut that's on the outer edge of the shoulder and we're just going to go all the way down that dotted line that we drew. Make sure you're only doing this to one layer of leather at a time to make sure that it's even. And we're going to go back afterwards and do the same to the other side of the leather but we won't have to draw another line we can just use the already cut half as a guide. As you can see, I'm just cutting along where I drew my lines. And we're going to do that all the way down to the bottom. And remember that it's really easy to just, after you cut the top layer, you can just cut along the bottom layer where the leather is and you only have to put one line on one side. You don't have to do the lines on the other side. You can just use the cut leather as a guide. 
and then clear away all of your scrap leather. And here you see we have a long rectangular piece of leather that's folded and you can see that the fold is at the neckline. You kind of pretend like you're like you're making a, a really long leather tabard. I'm gonna lay it out and smooth it out because I'm going to trim the excess off the bottom to make sure that it's a nice even and all the same length. Just trim all the excess and in one straight line. You can choose to draw a straight line with your marker, but I chose just to kind of freehand it and just cut the excess off to try to keep as much length as possible. But if you do this, you're probably going to end up spending a lot more time cutting because you will keep trying to make it even when you didn't start off with a straight line. And make sure before you cut the other side that the sides of your apron are lined up correctly so you don't end up with um, kind of crooked bottom on your apron. I kept it in place by weighing it down. And here we go, we're at the neckline, and what I did was, remember those little slits that we cut? I connected them at about a couple inches down. I wanted to make mine a v-neck, and I made the neckline pretty much exact to the dress that I'll be wearing it over. But you can make your neckline however you like. You can have it round, you can kind of give it a v-neck, you can, you can do whatever you'd like. But what I did was... I started cutting at the slits and I just put a nice size triangle on the front so that I would have a v-neck. But this is where you can kind of make it your own and you can do whatever kind of neckline you like. After I did this, I tried on my apron and I decided that my neckline was too small. So after I did all this cutting that you see here, I actually went back and did the same thing, but like um, about a quarter inch further out so that my neckline uh, was a little deeper and the hole for my head was a bit bigger. And now when we're cutting off this piece in the back, we're not going to cut a straight line, it's going to be kind of curved down so that you have enough space for your neck. So not a straight line, you're going to be cutting a curved line towards where your neck will be, just like this. And now I am trimming off just a little bit on the shoulder area, kind of where my underarm is, because I wanted it to be a little more comfortable. So what I did was I just tr trimmed off a little sliver here. Now I'm not going to tell you any exact amount because this will vary. I suggest trying on your apron and cutting off just a little bit at a time until you get it to exactly where it's comfortable for you. And make sure that you don't do it too far down just about to where your armpit is. And you see I kind of just have a little sliver there. This is all I had to take off so that I didn't have such a uh, big amount just poking out near my shoulder. But like I said, 
This will vary depending on how it fits when you try it on. So make sure before you do this stuff that you try on your apron and decide how much you want to trim off. Same with the neckline. Once you do it the first time, try it on and make sure that you don't want to do any trimming. Here I'm getting my little armpit area just right. There you go. And once you have all of this done, try it on one last time and make sure that it fits and that you like how it looks. Try your best to get the uh, the cut part here near the armpit. Try not to have any jagged lines. So that's why I'm doing this trimming here. Now turn your apron inside out and you will be marking holes starting at the armpit all the way down. You'll mark four dots and you will do them two inches apart. And that's what I did and then I took the largest uh, setting on the hole punch and I just punch in on the holes. It's super easy. Now you might want to lace yours further down but I only wanted mine to be laced about four inches near my waist and it'll be starting under my armpit. So this is what I did. You can add more or less holes but I suggest this, the, uh, the four holes, two inches apart starting right under your armpit and then you just take your your leather and you make sure that it's lined up and you do it on the other side and then you lace it up and that's all you got it's super easy and it's quick and it looks really cool